everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're gonna be doing a feel and we're gonna be doing a summer look with all acrylic and no polish so of course the first thing that i'm doing is i'm going in with a pair of nippers to remove the bling off her nails and then after this we're gonna go in with a coarse drill bed to remove the gel polish and then also we will be repairing those two nails so again we're just simply removing the bling with a pair of nippers after that we're going in with a coarse drill bit to remove the gel polish remember that when you are picking a coarse drill bit to remove your gel polish you want to make sure that you choose one that is a safety one just because it's so coarse that you don't want to cut your clients when you're falling and you also don't want to be falling on the natural nail with this one um so as always we first start around the cuticle area and then just following the entire nail until all of the gel polish is gone and then as always or not as always but um as you guys know i do have the new valentino table so my dust collector is from valentino and then the nail drill that i'm using is the melody susie scarlet nail drill which i am as absolutely loving it hasn't given me any issues at all it works really good and it fits perfectly in my little drawer so it is very handy um and then the drill bed is a um again a coarse drill bed by pana and i'll be sure to leave the link in the description to everything that I'll be using today. Alrighty, so after we finish removing all of the gel polish, we're going to go in with a cuticle pusher to push back the cuticles. And remember, this just helps with exposing the new growth and also helps to prevent lifting. And the cuticle pusher that I'm using, I got it from Amazon and it comes with that cuticle pusher as well as a pair of nippers. And I'll leave that link down in the description as well. So next, we're going to go in with a 180 sanding band and we're just removing the shine from the natural nail. Remember that when you're doing this, we're literally just getting rid of the shine. And the way to know if you've removed the shine, it's literally by just looking at the nail and looking to see if it's dull. Um, usually your natural nails will have a shine to it. So we are just getting rid of the shine. So again, they will look dry or like dull they're not going to be shiny anymore um and that's how you know if you remove the shine i know i've been getting the question that question a lot so i just want to let you guys know that that's how you would know um but again this is a 180 sanding band you don't want to use anything more coarse because if not you will damage your client's natural nail so as always we start around the cuticle area from the right side over to the left side and again just falling to remove that shiny layer we're not falling to thin out their nail or anything just remove the shine 
After that, we're going to go ahead and replace the nail tips. I'm using my natural nail tips, and these are the ones that I get from my nail supply store. So they are a bit longer. Remember that when you're applying nail tips, if one's too small and the other one's too big, always go with the bigger one and just file it down on the sides to make it fit perfectly. Alrighty, so once we have applied the nail tips, we're going to go in with a straight edge nail clipper and we're just going to be trimming down the sides of the nails. Remember, this is just to save us time when we actually start shaping the nail. After this, we're going to go in with a 100-100 nail file and we're going to be shaping the nails into a coffin shape. So remember that when we're doing this, we're filing the sides at a 45 degree angle and the free edge at a 90 degree angle and then also making sure that we blend the nail tip right in the middle. That way when we apply the acrylic, it looks a lot more natural. So again, 45 degrees on the sides and then 90 degree edge, I mean 90 degrees on the free edge. And then of course on the sides, you just fall until you get that width that you want. And then just blend in the nail tip in the middle. And after this, we're gonna go ahead and dust the nails off and then apply the primer. And for my primer, I'm gonna be using my OPI Bondex as always. You guys know that this is what I use because I have a lot of it and it works really good for me and I don't have problems with lifting. Um, so again, we're just gonna apply this on the natural nail, making sure that we don't get it on the skin because if they have any little cut on the skin, it will burn them. So after we finish applying the primer, we can go in with the acrylic. So I'm going to be using my Mia Secret Acrylic System in the color pink. And then the other colored acrylics will be by No Supply Glamour. And then also some will be by Mia Secret. So the first color that I'm going in with is by No Supply Glamour. And it's just an orange colored acrylic. We're going to go ahead and apply this over the entire nail. After we add a base of the pink acrylic. And the pink underneath, I just wanted to go ahead and fill in the nail with a little bit of that Mia Secret pink that way next time when she comes in we can just file away the colored acrylic and then she'll still have the regular acrylic underneath um, so as always just make sure that you add acrylic wherever it's needed once you've already applied your big bead and with the colored acrylics it's a little bit different because we're not adding to build on the nail like we're not adding the apex and we're not adding any of that we're literally just applying the color and then we come back in and when we encapsulate the colored acrylic that that's when you know we are adding to build an apex the only reason why i was adding quite a bit on this pinky was because the color was still looking a little bit translucent so i was making sure that i had a uh, good coverage but then here is where i'm going in with the mia secret pink or of course you can use the clear whatever you feel more comfortable with but the mia secret pink is really translucent so it's more it's almost like a clear it just has a hint of pink but sometimes you can't even tell and then of course i almost forgot the brush that i'm using is my alpha brush in a number 10. you guys know that i love their brushes unfortunately there is no more promo code but i'll still leave the link in the description because i promise you that their brushes are worth every penny so i do highly 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 recommend them um, but anyways for the next nail we're going to go in with really all of the colors we're going to be using the orange the pink the yellow um the blue and we're just going to do kind of like um an ombre or not necessarily an ombre but just different colors all on the nail as you can see when i'm working with colored acrylic i don't use too much because i don't want the nail to be bulky because again we are just adding the color we're not building with the um colored acrylic we're just applying it as color and then we come back in with the uh, pink to encapsulate it And also, I wanted to mention that when you're doing nails like this, you want to make sure that when you apply the colored acrylic, you're not dragging down. You're doing more of a padding uh, method just so the bead stays right where it was. You don't want the colors to run into each other. Um, and then again, once you have your colors down, we're going to go in with the Mia Secret Pink. And we're just going to encapsulate those. And then that's when we're going to make sure that we have a good thickness at the tip as well as a nice apex.
Alrighty, so then remember that when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you do the layer of acrylic underneath first, and then you come back in and do the colored acrylic on top of it. The reason why is because, again, once you, uh, or once they come back the next time, if they don't want the colored acrylic, you can go ahead and file it off, and then you'll still have the regular acrylic underneath. Um, so again, make sure that you do your regular acrylic. I cannot stress that enough, but it's going to be really important. If not, they're going to have to get a whole new set the next time that they come and then also this look was inspired by someone on instagram my client brought in a picture and i recreated the look and i'll be sure to leave her information down in the description because i don't want her followers to attack me um like they previously did and just a little reminder you know when people recreate looks it's not us stealing their work it's literally just called recreating you know sometimes we might not be able to give credit to everyone but um because like usually my clients a lot of the time they bring in pictures and i don't even pay attention to who did the nails originally i just kind of look at the nails and i just do them um but obviously it's been a problem lately so i'll be sure to try to link whoever did the nails first down in the description but again this set was inspired by someone on instagram so i'll leave that below but anyways um we're gonna go ahead and finish off this set as you can see this finger was actually really cute we did the green at the tip and then the blue at the back and then we're just encapsulating that with the same mia secret pink and then those two colors were also by nail supply glamour um the only one on this set that was not by nail supply glamour is that yellow color that one is in the color pina colada by mia secret
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the other hand as well. So as you can see, each hand is pretty much something different. Um, so I guess the only thing you can do is just sit and watch because again everything is really something different and random so this one is just going to be like purple um at the tip and then we're going to come back and do the orange at the top but as you can see it's going kind of like at an angle and again another thing is i think i already mentioned this but it's really important that again you do not apply apply too much color to acrylic you're literally just applying to where you have that color there and then you come back and add the regular acrylic over it
I also wanted to let you guys know that there is a new promo code for Nail Supply Glamour. Um, the last one that I had, people were saying that it was no longer working, which I think that they they said that it was because they had a really bad storm, so their um, system was down. But the new promo code is Get Nailed. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description as well as that new promo code. Okay, so as you can see on the thumb, we did the purple and the orange. On the index finger, we did kind of like that ombre look with the different colors on the nail. And then on the middle finger and the thumb, it was more of like a marble effect with two different colors in there. And then on the pink, we, on the pinky, we just did the all green. And then of course, we're going to come back in and encapsulate all of that with the um, pink acrylic or clear. Remember, it just depends what um, you are more comfortable with or what you want to use. Um, but then also, if you don't know why I encapsulate, um, the reason why you have to do it is because if you were to just leave that colored acrylic like that, once you come back to file, you will be filing away that colored acrylic. And and then it's going to look really patchy. So you have to do the clear or pink on over the top. That way, whenever you file, you're filing on that clear and not the colored acrylic. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with the 100-100 nail file and we're just gonna be reshaping the nails. So same thing, we're filing the sides at a 45 degree angle and the free edge at a 90 degree angle. And you wanna make sure that at the free edge you're filing at exactly a 90 degree angle because that's what's gonna give you that super, super straight look. And remember that I just feel like if even if the set doesn't look all that good if your shape looks really really good then it's gonna make up for the rest sometimes um so make sure that you practice your shaping um, because that is really really important After we finish reshaping the nails, we're going to go in with the fine drill bed by McCart. And as always, we're starting around that cuticle area first, going from the right side over to the left side. Just going back and forth until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way you know that the product is not on the skin and you won't get any lifting. And then of course, after you do that, you just want to make sure you file the rest of the nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. And also remember that if you are a beginner and you're still having problems with laying down your acrylic really smoothly, you are going to have to do a little bit more filing to make sure that the nail is all nice and smooth. And that's the only way to get the nail to be nice and smooth after you've applied the acrylic. Um, I know I've had that question before they're like hey you know like i've applied the acrylic and filed them but they're still lumpy like what can i do the only thing you can do is just file those nails to a smooth finish um but anyways we're gonna go ahead and continue to do the same thing again filing around that cuticle area first going from the right side over to the left side going back and forth and then just filing the rest of the nail as you see me doing there and then sometimes i also even file the sides because sometimes um even after you reshape the nails you still might have a few rough edges on the sides and you can get those off with the e-file
So after we finish filing the nails, we're going to go in with the buffer. And remember, this is just going to make sure that we get rid of any of the scratches left on the nail from the e-file or the hand file. So make sure that you buff really, really, really good. And then as you can see with the top of my thumb, I'm able to rub on the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth. If not, I go back and buff a little bit more. Um, and then after this, we're gonna go ahead and just dust the nails off and wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Or as always, you could have your client go wash their hands, whatever works for you best. Okay, so now we're going to go in and apply some bling. And of course, we could have just kept it like this, but um, the picture that she had had bling on it and she wanted to get it as well. Um, so as always, I'm using my Mia Secret Gel Resin, my SS6, SS12, and the Wax Pencil. And my website will be restocking on Friday. So I'll be sure to leave the link down in the description, which is just getnail32.com. And on there, you'll find the SS6, SS12, as well as the wax pencil and many more good nail stuff um so again we're just applying the bling and then once we have all of the bling on the nail we're going to go ahead and spray the nails with the mia secret gel resin activator and that's just going to help the glue dry a lot faster since it is a gel resin it is a thicker consistency which means that it's going to take a little bit longer to dry but with the activator it's like it helps that glue dry instantly and after that we're going to go ahead and apply the ibd gel top coat and as always i get this one from amazon so i'll be sure to leave that link down in the description and then after that we're going to go ahead and cure this hand for 60 seconds and then we're going to do the same thing on the other hand Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. It turned out beautiful. Those colors look so good together, so nice and bright. 
and she is definitely summer ready so as always i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter at getno32 and i'll see you guys next time